Swap sets open up a whole new world of puppet poses and emotions by allowing you to replace layers. All right. So we have two triggers here that are essentially overlays. That is, if I hit the S key, it overlays those hearts. And if I hit the D key here, get the sort of overlay pop-up exclamation point. But what if I could swap out things like his eyes or his wings here to give him a little bit more personality and convey different emotions? Well, you can. And that's a swap set. So let's do it. In the project panel, I'm going to go to Magnus and I'm going to click Edit Original. And here we have Magnus. So I want to replace this fin. I keep calling it a fin. It's a wing. Sorry, Magnus. But what we're going to do is duplicate this. OK? We need another version of this that has a different shape. So to do that, I'm going to hit Command C, Command F. Now, again, you could be rocking a PC, and that's going to be Control C, Control F. OK, now that I've got a copy, I want to actually turn the visibility off of the one that I'm not going to be changing so that I can kind of see what I'm doing. And maybe I'll, I'll rename it now. I'm going to double click on it, and we're going to say hip, or maybe a little more specific, on hip. OK. I could have called it akimbo. That would have been fancy. Anyway, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to change the shape of the on hip wing to some other posture. So to do that, I might use a combination of the white and black arrows here. So I'm selecting with the white arrow. Then I could actually switch to the black arrow and we could rotate it. Maybe it's going to you know, come out here a little bit. Maybe it's going to go up just a little teeny bit. I'm going to go to the white arrow and maybe I'm going to have a little bend here. So I'm going to take this anchor point, I'm going to slide it over a little bit, and then I'm going to break the handles here with the white arrow by holding down the option key. Okay. And then I could maybe move this point. Uh huh. Like so. And we can muck about with this a little bit. Maybe it's going to go up a little bit like so. And I'll break this handle by holding down Option. I'm going to play with it just a little bit more. Maybe I'll use the Convert Anchor Point tool. And, you know, just give it a little bit more of a sort of flip out there. OK. And we can always go back and change this up. So now what I need to do is go to right arm, turn it back on, and go and hit file and save. Back at character animator. It's going to look weird. I've got both of them at the same time. And what I want to do is go up to rig. And I need to create a new kind of trigger. Rather than a regular trigger, I'm going to create a swap set. OK. And all I need to do is drag in the stuff that I want to sort of swap. In this case, it's going to be the on hip, which I can drag right on top of that swap set name. And I'm going to say it's going to be replacing the right arm. Now, it is going to ask me, well, what do you want as the default to be there sort of at the beginning or without any triggers? So I would click right arm here and have it as the default. Notice that it highlights to let me know that's what's happening. And then I just need to set up the key that's going to make him change that, that posture for that particular wing. And that's going to be F. OK. And that's it. When I go back to record, you can see that everything still is the same. But if I hit F, I get that nice little change in his arm pose. Sorry, Magnus, wing pose. All right, so swap sets, powerful stuff and can give you a whole new range of character, postures and emotions.